feel and how important it would be to, to end with a win? Uh, that's, that's our goal is to go out and end the season with a win. Obviously, it hasn't been the season that we wanted or expected, but uh, we have a chance to, to go out on the right foot. We want to go out, play well, and come away with a win. Is this a tough week to not get sentimental, to not look back, not look forward, just to keep the week on the week? Uh, I mean, having the uh, the chance of playing just helps me stay focused, right? Uh, I'm sure if I was just kind of sitting around, then I'd have a little bit more time. But, uh, you know, having the chance to play, uh, just keeping my focus on that, trying to prepare myself, if need be, to be ready to go. Yeah, for sure, no doubt. I, I definitely realize that and, and, you know, have the thoughts. I just, I don't fully sit and reflect on, you know, the last five years at this time. You know, I just, uh, time will come and I'll definitely do that. But, but right now, um, I think I'd be, you know, letting down my teammates if I put too much thought into that and, and not preparing myself to go play. Were you doing that at all when you weren't playing? What's that? Were you reflecting? Was that what you were doing when you were not the start? Um, I mean, I reflected a little bit, but it, at, at the same time, there was still a lot of season left at that sure. point. So it wasn't like, you know, hadn't reached the finish line, you know, so to speak. So, uh, yeah, definitely haven't gone fully down that road. Have you watched Will a little bit this year? Well, what do you think he's done in terms of getting better as the season progresses? Yeah, he's grown. Like you want any young player to do is come in, you know, going to be uh, some good things and some things to grow from. Just like even in year 12, there's still, there's still things that uh, you grow from. So, uh, you know. I think he's come in, he's competed, and uh, you know, done some good things. So, what's the drive in Sunday? The drive in to, to the stadium? <laughs> uh, it's pretty short, so I don't have a whole lot of time to think. You know, we just kind of go across the bridge right there. Uh, but usually, I'm just trying to get in their mindset to uh, to be ready to go, listen to music, call my wife, and uh, I'd be ready to go. You touched on it a little, Ryan, but Coach Ray will talked a lot this week about motivation, the motivating factors for this team, each person. What's your motivating factor for Sunday? Yeah, I'd love to go out with a win. You know, it's been, uh, um, you know, five years of my life here in this organization and uh, a lot of great people, and I would love to be able to, you know, leave it on a win. I know you said you haven't done a lot of reflecting, but just, can you think about just a couple, like, I guess your proudest moments? Here, I don't want to get into that right now. Maybe right. we can uh, circle back on that next week. But uh, yeah, right now, just trying to get ready to, you know, go go win again. To be clear, though, when you say leave it on a win, it be uh, the season. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. My time, my time here, the season. Yeah. Brian, what's your level of pride in the way you and this group, and especially you as a leader, have navigated this season? Uh, I've tried to keep my my head up and uh, you know focus on on the cards that are that are handed to me. You know, um, some things are out of your control and you can't help that, but you can help how you uh, how you come to work, how you respond, um, the attitude you bring into work. You know, there's a lot of days where you know I didn't really want to come in and have a smile on my face and and try to help or uh, or get myself ready to go, but. You know, I knew that that was the best thing for my teammates, and uh, I'm not going to throw a pity party for myself. So uh, I tried to try to do that on a daily basis, and um, you know, hopefully, you know, my teammates saw that and um, you know, it reflected well on me. Yeah. And you mentioned calling your wife earlier, but who were some other people that you leaned on during some of the tougher times? Uh, I mean, my family members, my parents. Um, I have some great friends, um, you know, across the league, um, really all over the country now at this point that uh, that I've made and reached out and supported me. Coaches, uh, guys that I played with, guys that I've got to know over the years. Uh, so, uh, really, a, a great network of people, you know, helped support me, you know, through this season. How important was it to you that these two guys here that are in the quarterback room with you not see your demeanor change when the when the change at the position was made? Yeah, it was really just, you know, not only those guys, but just everyone in the locker room. You know, guys that I respect and um, honored to call teammates. So. You know, I wanted to uh, not be an energy drain from this team. I wanted to come in and and uh, try to help instead of hurt the team. So, uh, you know, that was my focus is, is to not focus on myself and how upset I was with my own personal situation, but, uh, you know, try to put the guys around me in front of myself. So, uh, you know, he's, he's one of the top guys to ever do it and, um, you know, been a lot of great moments together. You mentioned, you know, motivation for yourself, but what about for this team in terms of not going winless in the division and not seeing you know, Jacksonville celebrate the division title on their own field. Yeah, no doubt. We want to end the season with a win, like I said. You know, a lot of uh, 
uh, pride to be taken in that and, and how we finish, you know, obviously uh, it'd be easy to cash in at this point, but, you know, guys coming in, uh, attitude's been good, uh, focused here at the walkthrough, you know, just day one, but focused so far and, uh, you know, excited for the opportunity to hand and want to want to go out with a good taste in our mouth. A couple more. Right, a little more on Derek. When you guys were really rolling there for a while, what was that combination like? The pass run game, you know, 19, 20 in particular. Yeah, it was awesome. We played off each other. You know, everything kind of works together. Uh, when the run game was was hitting well, then, then it opened up the, the play-action pass game. We were able to uh, take advantage of it. So uh, it was really a yin and a yang that, that partnered up perfectly. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Control. You lost some weight. You were so fit and so ready to go. Everything was, you know, shooting for the mm -hmm. moon. And then the way things unfolded, is uh, that disappointing? Man, it's just part of it, man. Uh, you know, just be thankful that um, you know I can continue to play the game and just move forward from it. Trailing from a mental standpoint, though, like with, you know, coming back this year, you know, feeling ready to go, and then you're really hard. Is it maybe? Taking you to kind of stay, stay, help you stay the course. Um, like I told him, I mean, uh, things happen. Um, just stay to the course and you know, believe in God and everything else. Take care of yourself. Do you have the long catch or the long, long throw? Mm -hmm. Do you think you have a, a shot? Man, ball? I wish I could have that one back. Um, you know, it was a great ball by Will. Um, you know, you just got to come up and make that catch. Was it? It looked like you twisted a little bit. You know, as, as you're going for it, did that affect the ability to catch? No, nah, I just got to catch the ball. Yeah. You guys, have, you guys have talked a lot about the off season. Is there any part of you that's excited to get there to kind of get healthy, work on some things individually, maybe work with some guys? Uh, I'm healthy now, but uh, I would say just just to get into the off season and improve more of my game, and uh, just keep getting better and better. Traylon, what's your motive when you get out on the field Sunday for the last one? Um, go out there and finish with class. Uh, have fun, be thankful, um, and cheer on my teammates and um, get a win. What's it like to think that possibly, uh, not for sure, but possibly Ryan and Derek might be playing their, their last games as Titans? I, I'm, honestly, I ain't even had that thought. Yeah. So I don't know how to answer that one. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. All right, thank you. You know, you get, get guys that get crucified for saying they missed a block or something, like, especially at the offensive line position or DB position there, another one that and they don't understand because all they see is what's on the TV copy, and that doesn't show the whole picture. And so they can miss something that, you know, um, a guy, you know, it really wasn't his fault, you know. And at the same time, like, those guys get paid a lot of money to do the things that they're doing on defense. So, um, you know, it's you know, it's just a game, and you gotta you know do everything you can. Daniel, that Jaguars defensive front. What did you learn about them last time around? Uh, I mean, they're they're a great defensive front. They they have some really good uh, pass rushers and stuff, and, and great defensive line front seven. They got backers that flow really fast that uh, can move really well. So. Um, main thing is just kind of being able to get past that, that front of the defense line and then getting on those backers. Don't let them run free because, I mean, they are very fast. So, like, it, they can undercut you. They can go over top. So they, they can get around the ball pretty easily just with their speed. Um, so being able to handle that, getting on them so that they're not able to make those plays so that we can get our playmakers in space and get a chance to have some big runs or passes that way. Levis said that of all the division games this year have been the most physical for this team. Does that sound right to you? How physical have these matchups been? And what do you remember that from the last time you played the Jacks? Oh, no, I, I think um, all the games in your division are generally always going to be the most physical, no matter um, what division you're in. I think they just each team understands the importance of those games. Because those are just big games. Um, I mean, they decide a lot about the playoffs. They decide where you're ranked in a lot of things. So um, winning those divisional games are big, and so it's it's always going to be a physical matchup when you're playing a guy, when it, playing a team in your division. Um, and I think it's an understanding on both teams that you know you got to get this one.